Hello everybody, I'm Dan. In this video I'm going to show you how to install Remote Desktop on Raspberry Pi. Um, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and pop open my webcam window here. And I've just got, uh, just looking at the screen of my Raspberry Pi there. I'm going to go ahead and pop this open full size there. Um, so I'll show you my what I've got on my Raspberry Pi right now. Um, basically, uh, let me focus in on that. It's a little dark, but you can see that uh, you know I don't have anything plugged into the Ethernet here, and so I'm just going to go ahead and put that aside there. And basically, what I've got is I've got it hooked up to the uh, Wi-Fi network here, right? And so when you put your mouse over the Wi-Fi uh, icon in the upper corner there you'll get the IP address that it's connected to, right? Which is 10.0.0.35, okay? So if you're like me and you prefer remote desktop over VNC server, I mean, I've used VNC in the past and real VNC, tight VNC, VNC 3.3, whatever, you know, going way back to the beginning on that. I just prefer remote desktop. So um, I'll show you how to set that up. So the first thing that we wanna do um, is to open up the terminal here and I've made it nice and large here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in sudo apt get xrdp, okay? Sudo is super user do, essentially the same thing in Windows as running, right clicking on something, selecting um, run as administrator. Uh, basically sudo will run you as the root account, which basically has privileges to just about everything. apt get is uh, basically short for advanced package tool get, which goes out and checks the Raspbian repository for XRDP, that package name there, okay? So we'll just go ahead and, uh, oh, I uh, forgot one thing there. Uh, install, right? Because uh, we want to install that. So um, let's go ahead and install uh, the remote desktop software there. <clears throat> okay, and that's cruising right along here. So once again, we come up here, we hold our mouse over that, we can see that our IP address is 10.0.0.35, okay? Um, one other thing that we're going to do here, so we're back to our prompt here, right? Um, I am going to type in if, as in Frank, config, um, and what this will show is this will show us the IP address information um, for our stuff here. So you got E8, ETH0, which is our Ethernet connection, and there's no IP address anywhere in this in this uh, section here. So that's because the Ethernet cable's not plugged in. But down here on the uh, wireless LAN here, right, you can see that here is that uh, Internet address of 10.0.0.35. So that's what we're going to be connecting into here. So let's go ahead and put that down here. Uh, Windows, you can just go start search, uh, type in remote desktop connection and that'll pull that up there. Okay, so I've already got 10.0.0.35 and if I go ahead and hit on connect here and um, it will bring us up to the login to XRDP and you can leave this module here as sesman-xvnc, um, that's perfectly fine. That's where you want it to be as a matter of fact. Uh, Pi, Raspberry, just I still got the default stuff going on in there. So what it'll do is it'll look like it's about ready to connect and then you're gonna see error problem connecting, okay? Um, and go ahead and click OK on that and it's going to return you right back. You won't be able to get beyond this. So let's go ahead and just close out of that here. So the problem resides in that what we need to do in order to fix this is we need to uh, remove XRDP that we just did, VNC4 server and tight VNC server. So what we'll do um, is I'm just going to go ahead and close out of this, open it back up so we got a nice fresh one there and type in uh, sudo apt get remove xrdp um, and I want a vnc4 server and then a tight vnc server okay so remove xrdp vnc4 server and tight vnc server and by the way i found this on a stack exchange article and i've got a link direct link to it on my uh on my website uh, pyjava.com 
and you can go to my Raspberry Pi tutorials and I'll have that link there on the first tutorial, Raspberry Java and Raspberry Pi. Okay. All right, uh, when we come up here to this, uh, if you go into Preferences and Raspberry Pi Configuration, right, um, over here on Interfaces, you'll see it's got VNC, right, and it's got Enabled and Disabled. So what's going to happen here is, let's go ahead and close out of this here real quick there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to install Type VNC Server first. <coughs> sudo get apt get uh, install type vnc server okay this basically has the uh, order in which we need to install these so basically we're going to reinstall type vnc server and then we're going to reinstall xrdp Almost done. Okay, and then sudo apt get install xrdp. All right, and let's say, for example, you're not connected to a Wi-Fi network. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, what I'll do is I will plug in um, my Ethernet cable there, right right here. And uh, we're, we're already back to the install. So basically, we've fixed everything. I'm going to type in if config again here, right? And you will see now that up here on the Ethernet adapter, right, I've got a, an IP address of 10.0.0.227, okay? Um, 10.0.0.35. I prefer to have it connected to the wire, wireless network because once I'm remoted into this, I will go ahead and remove, um, I'll be removing everything, basically, except for the power. So I'll unplug the HDMI cable, the Ethernet, and both my keyboard and mouse, and then I can go ahead and set this thing in a in a closet somewhere, even if I wanted to do that, right? So that's basically what ultimately what I like to do on that. All right, so back here to uh, the remote desktop. 10.0.0.35. Connect up Pi Raspberry. See, we made it past that error, right? And boom, we are in. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and close out of that. The other IP address on this was 10.0.0.227, right? We can connect over that one too. And we are in there too as well. And if you want to improve the speed of your emulations there, uh, just simply come in, uh, right click on here, go to desktop preferences. And um, instead of wallpaper there, we'll just set the, uh, the background color only, right? And I'm not particularly a fan of that color. Let's see, maybe more of a blue. I'm more of a blue guy here, so. Uh, that that looks like a good color to me there. So if you turn off the uh, the image in your remote desktop, you're going to get things will just you know move a lot faster than they will if um, you know if you were in the quick brown box uh, jumps over the lazy dog. All right? You know you can see it's it's coming along pretty good. There's there's hardly any delay or anything on that. Um, so that uh, that works. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that. Close out of that and close out of that. Okay. Anyway, that uh, that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.